Hello Scorpio and welcome to your May reading with myself. I'd like to say a big, big thank you to everybody who has liked, shared and subscribed to my channel. I'm really, really grateful. And I will put a link in the description box below to my sister's YouTube channel, Anything Spiritual. So do check her out as well. And don't forget to click that like button for both me and my sister. Because the algorithm really does push our videos and channels even more if it knows that you like the content. And that really helps us out. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Okay, Scorpio. Let's see what's in store. You've got the Ten of Swords here. So in your recent, the recent past few weeks, Scorpio, some situation has ended, a, a situation that's been a struggle for you. Now, this could have been a conflict as well, because swords can represent conflict. So you may have had to walk away from a person or a situation because you felt it was too toxic. You felt that it was causing you too much turmoil, too much mental stress. And you thought, you know what, for my own mental health, I've got to walk away from this because I can't cope with it anymore. I can't deal with what's gone on. And this has left a lot of confusion and it's left here with the five of ones. You can see these people arguing. So it feels to me that there's still some remnants from this going on where there's disagreements with people, quarrels, arguments. They're only minor because it's a minor arcana card, but it's saying that the situation isn't completely over yet and you're still dealing with the fallout from it you know not everybody is going to agree Scorpio and that's the thing in life we have to just learn to agree to disagree but as we know there are some people who if somebody disagrees with them they feel that they've got the right to then push them out of their lives or, you know, try and control them in some way. And that's not what you want at all. People should be allowed to agree to disagree. And just because somebody doesn't agree with something doesn't mean there has to be, you know, this big fallout. But some people, as I said, can be quite toxic and they don't like it if you disagree with them. So do be aware of that Scorpio. But as we know, you are the Scorpio. There is a sting in your tail. And I'm sure these people will get the wrath of your annoyance if they keep on annoying you. What's helping or hindering you? This card here. And I feel it's what's helping you. It's the four of coins. So what's helping you is the fact that you know at the moment you've got enough money to make you feel secure, to make you feel stable. Now, this is a general reading, so it will mean something different to every Scorpio who watches it. But this gives me the feeling that there is enough money, even if you're not rolling rich, you know, with a big Mercedes up on the doorstep. This is saying there's enough money, enough money to pay the bills, and do what you need to do. And my advice to you, Scorpio, is to make sure you control your life. Make sure things are done at your say-so. This is your life and you're the one that should be in charge of it. And it's about having that passion, that enthusiasm, that fire. So start to feel passionate about your life again. Start to feel feel excited start to you know look at the summer look at the sunshine and get fired up and thinking come on I can do this I can do this I can improve my life now I can make it better and just have that positiveness 
about you and you can see you here look planning for the future once you've got that passion look at all these colors look all these reds and oranges and yellows it just shows the fire it shows the passion when you're all passionate when you're all happy and you're feeling positive look life's gonna get better and we'll see you planning for the future i see a holiday coming in plans of a holiday you know change growth learning to adapt to the changes that are going on so when you start to feel fired up when you start to feel positive it's like life starts to flow and you start to get moving it's like life starts to flow and everything starts going in the way and in the direction that you want it to go hawk it's about focus choose your priorities and eliminate all your distractions so think of a hawk. It's a bird of prey. It knows what it wants. It hunts down what it wants. And it can just go for it. And that's what you've got to do, Scorpio. You've got to focus. Focus clearly on what you want out of life. Choose your priorities and make sure that you're not wasting your time on needless distractions, wasting your time on something that isn't going to take you to your end goal. And your end goal is what you want out of life. So concentrate on that end goal. Eliminate your distractions. Focus and go for what it is that you want to bring into your life. 